Melanie and the orderlies left, closing and locking the door behind her. Robin sat on the bed, staring at the still picture of the happy woman. It was starting to get Robin irritated, almost like they were mocking her with their happy life. She picked up the white remote, opening up a menu. On the menu were the options Meditation Channel and Music Channel. Robin decided to, at the very least, get some rest and play the Music Channel. Immediately, Robin's ears were filled with what sounded like calming, synthetic sounds mixed with harps. She didn't know if it was the meds or the calming music, but it was enough to make her tired. She laid her head back on the soft pillow, letting the calm music lull her to sleep. When she fell into her sleep, at first she saw what looked like an endless darkness. Then, as the music swelled, streams of colored lights consisting of blues and purples slithered into view from their sides. Robin heard a cacophony of strange feminine chants. She could not decipher what they were saying. Suddenly, flashes of light showed her the most horrid things. Kathy's body cut in half, pain frozen forever on her face. Her husband looked at her with those inhuman eyes. The gun in her hand, staring down the barrel as the muffled shouts are heard. Then there were flashes of things she hadn't seen before. An empty birdcage. Women in white and black cloaks facing away from her. Flashes of sharp malformed teeth staring at her and snarling behind red lipstick. She felt a tingle in her stomach, then a pressure, like her organs were being rearranged. It was similar to the time she let David try to anal once, and never did it again. It was a ache that sent her writhing in her bed. One final flash of a three-fingered claw reaching out of her was enough to send Robin out of her dream. She awoke looking up at the padded ceiling the same ethereal music playing. She turned her head to the right to see the ice tea picture was full once again, along with a new cup of pink pills.